Hello viewers, today I am going to demonstrate you how to do a fluoroscopic guided injection of subtalar joint. Now, subtalar joint is an extremely common uh, cause of pain in your foot and uh, there are a lot of occasions uh, when you have to fuse uh, the subtalar joint. My advice is whenever you are thinking of fusing, a diagnostic or therapeutic injection of that particular joint uh, will be extremely useful. So today I am going to demonstrate you how to do a fluoroscopic guided injection of the subtalar joint and I will take you through it in a step by step fashion. So this is our theatre setup patient is on the lateral position. We are injecting the left side so patient is on right lateral. Um, so we are going to enter from the lateral side. So this is the position. Our C arm is going to come from the opposite end. The C arm screen is going to be right in the front um, and that's it. I am going to show you what I need uh, for my trolley when you are injecting a sub -teller joint. So when you are injecting this, uh, you need uh, Omnipec. Uh, this is to confirm the position of your needle that you are into the joint. And this is some local anesthetic that we are going to give on top of the skin so that the procedure is not too painful for the patient. Now this is a mixture of, uh, this is around 4 ml. You can make it slightly more, but sub joint is usually tight, so it doesn't take more than you know, 3-4 ml. So, it is a combination of 80 milligram of Depomedrone, which is 2 ml, and then you have got 2 ml of uh, plain lignocaine. Uh, we have taken 2% on this occasion. So, these are the things that you will need. So, next step will be to localize the subtalar joint using fluoroscopy. So, what I have done is I use a needle to localize the subtalar joint or the sinus tarsi. So I have kept this needle in this position and I will show you um, the fluoroscopic images that where you should be and what is the right spot. So if you look at this x-ray, it does tell you that this lady has got a old calcaneal fracture. Now this is the posterior facet of the calcaneum and this is where you draw the angle of Gesen. So this is the spot that I aim for. So if you see the needle is just about in the right space and once my needle is in this position the next step will be to just make it vertical and then go inside and insert some omnipeg. So after identifying the position I have used a marking pen and then I will infiltrate some local so that uh, when you are putting your needle in it becomes as less painful to the patient as possible. So once you have uh, identified the spot um, when you are starting up, it might take some time for you to negotiate into the subtalar joint. But when you negotiate into the right place, you will feel a giveaway sign when you will be entering into the subtalar joint. And I had that feeling. Now my next step will be to inject some Omnipec to confirm that I am in the right spot. So just a little bit of Omnipec and then we will take some x-rays. So I think it is always, always advisable to use uh, Omnipec because and take these images, save it, put it in the patient notes, uh, especially in this era where everything has become medical legal. So if you see this nice flow in the front and nice flow in the back, that confirms the position of the needle in the subtalar joint. And now it's only a matter of injecting your steroid and local anesthetic into the joint. So I'm just going to inject the local anesthetic and some steroid into the joint. You will find some resistance, but it should go reasonably easily. And that's how you inject a subtalar joint. Once you inject the steroid into the subtalar joint, what it will do is it will wash away your um, omnipec from the joint and that will that line that was seen before will disappear and that is also an indication indirect indication that you have injected the right joint because if your needle moves then the dye is not going to get washed off so this is another confirmation that you have injected the subtalar joint correctly because now the line that was seen before is disappeared and I also save this image and then put it into the patient notes. 
So that is how you inject it, um, a subtalar joint safely.